I gotcha. Yeah, that's uh. That's right now, that's the plan. movie scripts. Fantastic. Alright, yep. Such comedy. The things pointless internet memes just arise from. I mean, there's a random thing, just B movie script, but spam that for some reason. <laughs> such thing. Then again, I imagine it would be pretty painful to vote. Who knows how much time watching someone you don't like awkwardly stammer through. Or really, whatever they're doing. Ugh, goodness. Alright, let's see. Bam. I feel that guy hasn't been resurrected. Fantastic. Uh, I mean, yeah. Pretty much. Uh, this is an Archbishop costume, but really, I mean, come on. A white hat, it's like a little oh, wrong bit. I mean, I'm not even wearing this because I'm like a spellcaster or anything. It's like, I just love it. Uh, how far am I through the game? Well, um, I'd wager I'm not that far, relatively speaking. <clears throat> Uh, so far, I've only defeated one Lord of Cinder, um, but yeah, you know, um, let's see, how many Lords of Cinder are there? There's like five or six of them, so I don't know when another one of them is going to come up. But 
yeah, um, I don't know, relatively speaking, how far I am. I'm not super far yet, though. And... Broken. Yeah, um, I'd say we, I don't even know if I'd say I'm a decent way through. I mean, like, I've been playing this on and off when I've had the time. Uh, but yeah, I imagine I'm not too far yet, so I'm still relatively early, I think. I mean, the thing about it is, like, uh, one of the things that's probably eaten up more of my time is that, uh, I took the time... Yeah, no, this is, by no means is this a uh, late game, not yet. Uh, like I said, I'm, I just beat the first, uh, the first keep, uh, fire lord, whatever, you know what I mean. Lords of Cinder. Um, so yeah, I, I beat the first of those guys, so we're not that far in the game yet. Uh, although the thing is, like, the reason I'm dressed up like this is because I found an alternate pathway that you need to go through later. Uh, but I went through it earlier because I found it and it was just such a fucking cool setting that I just wanted to dig into it. Um, so I mean, uh, like, that's kind of a more late game sort of place. Like, it's not more difficult per se, I don't think, but I just decided that it was visually enticing. Uh, hello. I decided that was visually interesting enough to go through, and actually, um, if you're interested, I don't have me going through that area, but I do have the uh, boss fight of that area. I mean, I wouldn't suggest watching that if you're trying to avoid spoilers, but yeah, um, great boss fight. As far as I'm concerned, look at that. Come full circle. I love when that happens. Uh, as far as I uh, know right now, um, yeah, it's my favorite boss fight of really any of them. Um, I mean, like, when I first got this game, I like I told Lark several times before, I didn't know how to feel about it. Um, you know, it's like, I enjoyed the first section, and I thought it was enjoyable, enticing, but I didn't know how to feel about it, because I had kind of just come off of Dark Souls 2, so I was kind of going into this being negative, I was like... Yeah, whatever. This shouldn't exist. I want Bloodborne. But now, I mean, this game, I, I'd still love to play Bloodborne someday. But uh, as far as I'm concerned right now, this is probably the best game in the franchise. <sighs> Bastard. Did it just... Uh... Yep. Just disappeared into infinity. So I guess it died. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, like, I really didn't expect this game to be, like, my favorite so far. But, I mean, so it is. Like, it's just, it's so well crafted and it combines aspects of what made all of the previous games, even Dark Souls 2 and Bloodborne special. I mean, I still would love to play Bloodborne someday. Oh, damn. oh well, it happens. Uh, it's fine though. I took care of that skeletal wall, so I can just go this way next time. Yeah, I mean, um, it's like it's really surprising to me how good it is. Uh, but it really is. I love how they all reach out. It's it's one of those nice touches that just like makes these get uh, this and Dark Souls one as good as they are. Just look at that. Look at that. They reach forward to pull the ball forward because it's a living skeleton ball. I mean, I just that's the coolest shit. Uh, yeah. I'm, you know. I'm kind of torn on what to recommend to you as a good entry point. Um, I mean, like, 
you know, in some ways, Dark Souls 3... Like, in some ways, I think it's a good entry point. In some ways, I think it's like... I mean, I've played a lot of Dark Souls, and I still find this game incredibly difficult. So I don't know if that's just me. Damn it, I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Bloodborne, like, that's one of the primary reasons I would kill to play it. I mean, like, damn it. Like I said, it happens. Uh gotta get back in the groove but yeah bloodborne just seems so fascinating i love the victorian setting i love the lovecraftian nightmares i just it, it's a game that speaks to me and seems so interesting and that i won't get to play it probably i don't even know if i'll ever get to get around to playing it but that i won't be able to play it is a bit disappointing to me but you know it's a reality of the industry, and I'm gonna have to accept that it is the way things are right now. If I can get a PS4 later down the line, I probably will just for Bloodborne. I mean, that's how much I want that game. Yeah. Um, but as for this one... Let's see. If we're being 100% honest... I still think Dark Souls might be a better introduction. Actually, you know what? Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, there was a part earlier where I had to avoid getting pummeled by a giant, and it was one of the most heart-pounding, tense moments in any of these games, because I had to, like, I had to run try and avoid getting smashed and then like at the last minute dive into an open doorway and pray that I got close enough to not take significant enough damage to kill them. Like it was tense. These games are very tense. And Bloodborne, I mean, it just looks so good. Like, I think I think the reason people compare it so often to uh, to like horror games is because horror games, to me, a good horror game takes power away from the player. Whether that's through kind of crappy working mechanics, like in Resident Evil, the uh, the shooting isn't very good, so it makes every battle encounter really tense because, like, you're basically fumbling around. Oh gosh, that bastard's strong. Ugh, jeez, that guy got me in two hits, wow. Ugh, I don't care though. Fashion demands sacrifice. And this armor is not very defensive, but it's fashion, so we're sticking with it. Yeah. Um. But anyway, like I was saying, I think good survival games either rely on taking either defensive options away from a player or manipulating it so that the player the player's power is not significant enough to blow through their opposition like limiting limiting the amount of uh, shotgun shells or whatever you get I mean in Resident Evil as the game goes on if you're conscious and careful enough I think you're definitely more able to uh, play deal with situations, but I mean, it's still pretty tense, because you never know if a zombie's going to get close enough to mess you up, or if an enemy is going to eat up your bullet supply. From what I understand, it, well, actually, Bloodborne kind of acquaints itself well. It's a dark, gloomy atmosphere. It's fast-paced, and the minute an enemy gets to you, it's like you know things are going to move fast. It's tense. It's uh, ow. 
uh, difficult, and it, like, even though you have tools to deal with enemies, like, you're not just an all confident guy. Like, even in this game, you know, it's like, I think this game's a good demonstration of that idea. Okay, let's see. Damn it, I almost had him. Oh my gosh, this guy's kicking my ass. The game had registered me knocking him off the cliff, that would have been great. Yeah, but I mean like, you know, you're not in complete control, you know? You're, uh... You're like, you're having to deal with. Um, enemies that are really strong, disgusting, and can quickly overwhelm you. It's like, that's one of the core tenets of horror games. And it's kind of why, one of the reasons uh, Dead Space isn't that scary. Like, you're in control enough. Uh, like, and I love Dead Space, but you're in control enough where dealing with enemies is never really an issue. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. It's like, I think the reason RE works, though, is because of the op 2 shooting. You know, it's like, it, it, it may seem odd to say that, like, having the lack of control is good, but at the same time, you know, there's an argument to be made for the tension it adds, you know? I mean, it's like, it seems like such an odd thing to say to like, be like, oh, you should like, I mean, you should make your game play worse to make things more tense, but for a game like RE, it really works to me. Um, because... Like, I think better movement is good, but it keeps you tense because you're dealing with, like, a character that's not super easy to control and whose accuracy is, like, very low. Basically, you're, um... You're increasing the tension and, like, all that stuff by a lot. And combine that with a good atmosphere, which is one of the parts of, like, Resident Evil that people, like, uh forget about and it's one of the reasons why it's such why it's such a good game and why it keeps you on uh, on edge so much it's because of that uh, atmosphere and everything combined with the controls I mean it may seem counterintuitive but the controls help sell the game help make the game more tense and scary which, I mean, for a horror game, that's what you want. And, you know, it's like, it makes sense in, like, a game like Dark Souls, even, because the game itself is designed to be based upon precision, you know? Whereas a horror game, I mean, like, you can do it well, but at the same time, by taking away the control you have, you kind of replicate what it would be like to be in a horror environment. I mean, in, a, in an environment where a zombie is a couple of feet away from you and it's coming to take a bite out of your face, you're not going to be perfect accuracy 100% of the time. You're going to be like, shit at aiming and just pray you can hit it. And I think it replicates the idea and feel of that very well in like RE, as well as the atmosphere. Like, there's a lot of important components, more so Oh my gosh. Okay, that was close. Okay. Yeah, um, so I mean, I get what you're saying. But I almost feel like there's a very good balance between the two, you know? Uh, 
Yeah, and I mean, like, you know, again, it seems so counterintuitive, and it seems like, oh, I wish I had control. But when you give a player complete control and, like, and make them super competent, where's the horror in that? Horror is about not having control. Horror is about being radically out of control and being in a terrifying... Oh my gosh! Shit. Shit. Being horribly out of control. Alright. Oh my gosh. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, uh... Flee? Uh-oh. Oh shit. Oh goodness. Okay. Alright. That could have ended very badly. No! Seriously, don't feel inadequate. Like, I mean, I can talk, so there's a lot more I can convey and talk about in a given conversation than, like, necessarily typing can. Plus, there's a delay, so uh, it obviously it seems like I'm contributing far more to the conversation. I don't know if I could knock out the rope bridge, actually. I probably could have, but it's okay because I outran them, so I think I'm okay. Okay, what's this? Huh. I, I have a feeling this is not going to end well for me. Touch goblet, it says. Touch goblet. Yeah, that, this is going to be a boss fight, isn't it? Or at least a very difficult creature. The heck is with the ceilings in, in this game? Some of them are really weird. Anyway. But yeah, no, don't feel bad. Like, you know, it gives me fodder to discuss. And I really appreciate that. Even if it's just like, that makes sense. Well, that's fine. That's all you need to say. And I just went through the topic in depth. But like I said... Yeah, no, it's great, isn't it? Like, the aesthetic and the setting of this game is just beautiful. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. Holy shit. Fuck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Fucking got cancerous tumors. What the fuck? Uh, oh my gosh. Shit. Fuck. Oh my gosh, I'm not even putting it down. Oh my gosh. Oh fuck. Oh gosh, what are we gonna do? Oh no. Okay. Has a dig. Good. Okay.
Gosh dang it. Ugh. Alright then. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. What the fuck was that? I was not ready for that. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well. Oh my gosh. Woo. Alright then. Oh my gosh, what the fuck? Yeah, no, I just discovered Volnair completely on accident. I was not ready for that. I was not prepared for what just happened. Okay, let's see. Yeah, no, oh my gosh, like, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I expected something to jump out of the shadows and go oogity boogity boo. Uh, when I touched the goblet, I did not expect a giant rotting flesh covered skeleton to come out of nowhere and attack me. Okay, I'm sorry, you know what? I've been kind of like going back and forth. On uh, what my opinions of this game are. Huh. Oh, look at that, I can descend. Shut the fuck up, Torch. Uh, oh my gosh, like that was friggin' Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I think this might be one of my favorite games. I think this is probably my favorite game in the series. Like, my gosh! Of all the things I expected to fucking come out of nowhere, I didn't expect a giant fucking skeleton monster. Oh, dear. Hello. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah! Oh, you sneaky little shrews. Let me guess, the Mimic and the, uh, whatever it is, fight it out. That's embarrassing. Ah, who cares? Fucking descend button wouldn't pop up. Yeah. Sorry, that boss took me completely off guard. See, that, that's why 
people like me avoid spoilers so much. Uh, that's why I try to avoid spoilers so much for these sort of games. Because shit like that is priceless to experience for the first time. Sure curiosity. Probably won't do anything. Nope, didn't do anything. a whole bunch of
Damn. Oh well. right back I need to go get a phone for my charger which is the cheap ass way I use to communicate with chat so I'm just gonna go to a uh, let's see it's gonna go to a little intermission thing I kicked up yeah no definitely the frost sword is nice <laughs> yeah after that boss fight probably all right let's see There we go. Alright, back. Apologize for that. Phone is what I use to communicate with chat. I should really consider just hooking up a second TV. I got one sitting right there that I used to figure out the PS3 for Dark so Demon Souls, I should say. I just haven't used it yet. Ah oh, well. Uh, maybe eventually, actually. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's really nice actually, like, I've got Razer Kraken headphones, and they're not the best headphones on Earth, but Razer does this little imitation surround sound dealie. So basically I can hear the boulder, like, I can hear the boulder by where it's rolling currently. So I can hear it roll away, roll off to the side, and roll off in the distance, uh, in a way that makes sense. Actually, I love. I like that. That's the program does that. It's pretty useful. Uh, 
Okay, goodness. Alright, well. I don't know, let's see. Cool. Damn you random people. Fucking. Yeah, Fire Demon is dead. So, you know, that's nice. Um. Basically, I just uh, used all the skeletons to keep him busy, hit him with a couple of heavy soul arrows, and then he dead. Dead forever, hopefully. Oh, uh, look at that. Thing of beauty, that. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, let's see. Old Sage's Blindfold and Witch's Ring. What are those? Oh, that's kind of cool. Ah, uh, flavor text. I wonder if he'll find. <laughs> That's ominous. <laughs> now, so far, of all the messages I've seen. Regarding that sort of thing, I've only had one, uh, 
ah, one geez, illusionary wouldn't. wall thing actually pan out because people are terrible assholes who will take any advantage any opportunity they can to just fuck you over for no good reason Welcome husband. Very well. Then to take nourishment. Ah, uh, dang. What's our intelligence at? Hmm. All right. Farewell. I've made it. I'd say that's a worthwhile investment. Get all ready, use up those souls and stuff. And there it is. Okay, let's see. Spell buff 115. Ah, just what neat. Yeah, um, I've been trying to kind of like play a little differently than I more normally do, but I do often invest in uh, uh, like a little bit more endurance and that sort of thing. Ah, the iron tree. <laughs> kind of interesting. Um, I'm kind of glad to have... Oh, a hand in one piece. You can keep us. Goodbye. <laughs> like, I'm kind of happy to be playing in a different method. Oh, pretty. I am Uriel. Thanks to the Yol Soul, allow me to express my... Another matter, that a lord bearer of the darks, for the time thou remainst our lord, and I, of course, am also thine. 
What the heck? Oh, good hollow. Orbeka Vinheim is a cause of much cons. He proclaimeth himself Lord of Holland. If left alone, fall to this matter yearly, else we are unwrapped decisiveness. Our Lord, knows thou of them? She is hollow. A fellow of mine guides her at this moment. For what, Lord? Our Lord, and knows thou she of that fool? Well. She is. That is definitely an interesting little wrinkle. What's this? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Our Lord knows that she a fellow for what? Till we meet it may the dark. Fascinating. Yeah, no, I'm curious what's gonna happen with her. That's very interesting. Oh. Yola's is dead. Well that's unfortunate. See that that is so fucking fascinating. If I hadn't gotten all five dark signs, then I friggin' wouldn't have found that interesting little story bit. That's awesome. Back again, I, I suppose. I don't mean to see an ex in the form of sc I hope you're not. Come again. Fascinating stuff. Really cool. Really cool. Oh, do you wish to hear? You know, in I would load, but if I had a oh, terrible. Oh, champion of ash. These are dark tales of things, of course, only the little creatures that nibble at me. Fascinating. So you can play as the. Wow, whoa, ho, jeez, we are really peeling apart something fascinating. Look at this little wrinkle. Alright. You know, if I will, but if I go, oh, terrible. Have a plus, I pray for. Cool beans, cool beans. This keeps getting more and more interesting. Oh goodness, this is just like, this is just gravy. This is just absolute gravy. Ugh. Aha, that's so. Ah, fine kindling for the throne, and all slain by thy hand. Oh, I have no qualms. For as, in fact, he thinks that... Gosh, it's just, it, there's so much, like, substance and depth to this shit. I love it. Anyway, wait, where'd that guy go? Oh, that's interesting. Absolutely fascinating. one of those things that I just uh, love about this game. It's like, again, I know I've probably said this like five times, but just all the little nuances and depth and all that stuff. Yeah, no, definitely. I've noticed that like some of them seem to kind of just, you know, Go wherever, but it's fine. It's alright, I don't care. As long as you're not killing each other, that's alright with me. Oh. Oh dear. Wow.
Wow. Um. Okay. Oh, this is Ash Lake. Uh, let's see. Will this kill me? Nope. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Alright, 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 alright. Well, that's, uh, that's a thing that just happened. Huh. All right, then. Well, hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, gosh. You know, I was already loving this game, but now I just, like, I'm blown away even more. Just, uh, let's see, and nope, that's unfortunate. I guess I'm basically stuck. Hmm. Yeah, no, I was hoping that it would hit it, but it didn't really seem to be doing all that much. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just wow. Just fantastic. Uh. That's just great. Alright, let's see how long we've been at this. Easy, just dodge the giant worm monster and dodge the giant ballistas being fired at me with pitch perfect accuracy. It's easy. So easy, uh, larks could do it. Bam. Burn. Alright, well, I, ironically enough, ending where we kind of last left off, uh, yeah, I think that's good. I think that'll be good for now. certainly appreciate you tuning in again. That applies to everyone who watched this and everyone who watches this later. Yep, definitely. This is like, this, this game is basically, gosh, it's, it's honestly one of the best games I've ever played. I legitimately think this is usurped Dark Souls for my favorite game in the, in the series. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate the. Uh, appreciate that. Words. Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, see you later.